Hi, and welcome back to Fall Broadcast. We are in week nine, the final week of Fall 2021 broadcast. Thank you so much for hanging in with us. Um, we're gonna have our peak check, a couple visitor tips, and then our special guest this week was Russ Griswold to help get us prepped for winter. So stick around. So as you guys can tell, peak behind us, it is still here. You can see neighbor mountain. It is beautiful. There is a canvas of just so many different colors of the reds, the orange, the yellows, and even some of the greens. Those are the evergreens, so they keep their leaves during the winter. Um, and then we also have the deciduous trees, which those are the trees that are going to drop their leaves, but they're hanging on still this year. So all of our visitors have been really lucky this fall that there's been so many opportunities to come up here and visit the park during our fall season especially now in the lower elevations it's their time to shine <laughs> it is beautiful down there and it's so apparent when you come to the park um, viewing it from the outside viewing mm -hmm. it from the overlooks or any of the summits on your hikes it's just gorgeous and it's really hanging on so again yeah if you look down at the lower elevations it's so much color um, but that's not to say in the higher elevations that there isn't any color uh, you might have to look a little harder, but it's still there. They're still hanging on for you. Um, we did want to mention that our webcams are having a little bit of technical difficulties right now, and we assure you we are working on the problem. We know that everyone really looks forward to mm -hmm. watching the color change on there, and then in the winter, the first snowfall. So we assure you that we are working on that situation to make sure that it is up and running as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Tips for visiting this week, as we are transitioning into winter, we mentioned last week that we are shutting off some of the water in some of the bathrooms, but the vault toilets are still available and open, so if you don't want to find a tree, those are available for you. And also, there are still the frost-free faucets in some of our picnic grounds for you to be able to put out your campfire, so also keep an eye out for those. Yep, and then if you check our website, we do have some facilities closing this month. Uh, that will include Big Meadows Campground, which is it closes today. All of the other mm -hmm. campgrounds have been closed. The Dickey Ridge Visitor Center will close November 28th, which is a Sunday. The Visitor Center at Big Meadows will be open seven days a week until December 6th. And then on December 9th, it will be open Thursday through Monday, closed Tuesday through Wednesday. And that'll be through the winter hours. Mm -hmm. And then both of those visitor centers will go back to their regular hours in the spring. Thursday, November 11th is Veterans Day and to celebrate it is the fee free day here in Shenandoah National Park and all of us from Shenandoah just want to say thank you to all of our veterans, all of our veterans who serve here in the park and all of our visiting veterans. Thank you all so much for your service. Yes, thank you so much. So since fall is kind of wrapping up, mm -hmm. of course we mentioned earlier it's still beautiful here so come out and visit. But we want to talk a little bit about our winter operation. So as we transition into from fall into winter, uh, we want to go over a little bit of how that works. So to help you, the visitor, come visit the park, you can check out the Skyline Drive status. So if we happen to have inclement weather where the drive has to be closed, we will post those on our social media sites. And you can also call the park, 540-999-3500, uh, option one, option one and you can get that information there. So our last visitor tip that we can give you today is to remember when you're gonna be hiking in the winter that things up here are likely going to be icy and snowy, so you're gonna need a little bit of traction for yeah. your boots. So you can get spikes or coils, but make sure that you're up here and you're enjoying winter in Shenandoah safely. Yeah, and also um, just another tip, if you want to hike in the park when the drive is closed, the park is still open and that's mm -hmm. great. So we recommend parking at the entrance stations and you can hike in. Here are the last of the Flickr photos from fall 2021. Thank you guys so much for sticking in with us and for sharing all of your fall photos with us this year. We've really enjoyed getting to share them on our broadcast and thank you guys for sharing. Yeah, we'll definitely do it again next year. Yeah. They're gorgeous. So we are going to toss it over to Ranger Madison who spoke with Russell Griswold today. He um, is the head of the roads crew, and so they're mm -hmm. going to go over kind of their winter operation that they do to clear the Skyline Drive when it snows. I'm here in the maintenance yard with Russ Griswold, the man that keeps the drive going in the winter. So, Russ, thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. 
So what can you tell us about maintaining the drive in the winter? What does it take? Uh, you know, it takes quite a bit. You know, our, our operations are quite a bit different than VDOT. Um, you know, a lot of times it's, it's up in the air of what we're actually going to do that day, depending on the weather patterns. Um, you know, trying to base a plan on weather plans, obviously, is hit or miss too. What's different in the valley is different up on the mountain. Um, you know, in the valley it could be 32, 33 degrees, and up on the mountain it could be 22, 23 degrees. So, mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Those differences in elevation can also account for some of why certain parts of the drive can be open but not others. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Russ, what are some of your strategies or treatments? How do you actually go about maintaining the drive in winter? Uh, you know, first things first, our crew has a years of experience. You know, a lot of these guys have been around for 20 to 30 years, and so we, we rely heavily on them and their experience. Um, but typically what we're doing is we're plowing headquarters area, and then we'll run up and stage at uh, Thornton Gap and Swift Run and kind of get started from there on the drive. Um, what we're doing there is checking plows, checking snow chains, uh, ensuring our, our salt and uh, stone mix is proper for the conditions that do exist. Um, we get a better feedback of what, what conditions are there, uh, whether it's ice or snow or combination of the both. Um, so what is Winter Ops timeline for plowing sections of the drive and how do you know what sections to prioritize first? Uh, so we base our operations on the Shenandoah's uh, winter ops plan, mm -hmm. um, and that kind of spells it out pretty directly. Uh, first priority is central district, and then from there we work north and, and then south. Um, there's a couple sections that we do touch on, uh, mile post zero to five, which allows access to Dickey Ridge. Timeline-wise, it, it kind of varies again. There's, depending on the conditions, if it's all ice, it's just a matter of what our treatment will do and how long that'll take, um, which we're treating with uh, salt and a stone mix, which uh, there's a few cold spots that tend to last a couple days. So if it's mm -hmm. thick or heavier ice, we, we usually have to treat two or three days in a row. So it could take up to a week at least for central to be cleared. Uh, and we don't start working on those other sections till after that. So. Um, as a reference for the whole drive, I would say it could take up to up to a week and a half to two weeks to get it cleared. Um, we don't know what we have until we're up there and see mm -hmm. it. Uh, so that, that can change our daily work plan significantly. Uh, you know, another thing that we look at is we're not plowing or dealing with anything until after the storm settles. So those conditions could be uh, quite a bit of a challenge when you start to plow. Uh, you know, another thing we're facing too is as, as always is short staffing. Staffing always comes into play when it comes to, you know, holidays and you know, weekends and call-ins and call-outs. It, those are some of the challenges that face it immediately. But um. So Russ, I'm sure it looks like a fabulous winter wonderland up there and when all of us can't go see the drive, can you describe what it looks like? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys talk about that too being a favorite part. Uh, you know, the first plow driver gets to see it blanketed white, and no footprints, no disturbance, uh, none of that. It's just all white, and sometimes you get a, a good glimpse of ice melting on tree limbs, and that that glint is is a pretty amazing uh, appeal to fresh snow. Uh, it's hard to beat that, especially with the road being a good uh, canvas for quite a bit of snow. Well, Russ, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us a little bit of insight of what winter will look like in Shenandoah and giving us a little your personal perspective on winter when the rest of us can't see it. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, glad to be here. And, you know, my crew is awesome. Uh, you know, they work really hard and mm -hmm. they're consistently putting themselves out there to make sure that the drive is cleared for visitation and, you know, even just simple use for the employees. So. Uh, it's something we appreciate and I appreciate mm -hmm. from our crew, so we're, we're glad to be here for sure. Well, thank you all so much for a wonderful fall season, mm -hmm. and thank you to our special guests that we had each week. We had a blast having them on our show, and we just learned so much with you, mm -hmm. so we're so happy that they could join us this year. But don't leave yet. We are going to stick around this winter season. We're going to do some broadcasts from the park to share, and we'll have those posted on Facebook and YouTube and our website so you all get a chance to see what goes on in the winter in Shenandoah. 
So we'll see you again soon. See ya. Bye.